Hey, this is Beata from Split Coast Stampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create a holiday magnet. I placed mine on a pizza box to give away, but you could just give it away like this or give it away in, inside a box. All stamps used in this sample are from Unity's Embellished Season. The dies, as well as the snowflakes, are cut and embossed with um, Spellbinder dies. To begin with, you will need to sponge or airbrush, and I airbrushed Copic Marker R8-9 on my neutral colored cardstock. And that cardstock I already ran through my Xyron machine, so it's sticky. And now I'll emboss the image over the airbrushed area. Stamp it with embossing ink, and this stamp comes in two pieces. I'm going to stamp my handle down here. Add gold embossing powder over it. Tap off the excess and heat until it melts. Let it cool down a little bit while I wait for it to do that. I already cut my pieces a little bit smaller. And because this is so white behind it, I could have airbrushed it with a different color or the same color, but I'm going to sponge it with vintage photo. And then because the images will be a little bit overlapping, I just cut part of my handle out already, the part that will overlap my ornament. You can use any, sh any um, image for that, but make sure there's simple shapes to cut out because next we will adhere this on a piece of cardboard that has been that has another piece of cardstock underneath which is black so for a more finished image of uh, finished look later and because I cut here I'm going to sponge the edges with a vintage photo as well now I have a piece of um, card cardboard that I get when I order my postage stamps online and I already ran my piece of cardstock through my siren machine to make it sticky and I tear that onto my cardboard turn it around and do the same for my ornament it's a bit harder to peel because And then I adhere my ornament handle on top where I want it to overlap. Now we cut the whole thing out and because it's so many layers, it's a, uh, get a really strong scissor and it takes a little bit. So I already pre-cut my ornament 
an ornament here and then if you get these little fuzzies it's okay just use a sanding block and sand that off now we have black in the back uh, but we have this white edge so I'm using a Copic marker you can use this black uh, sharpie and just go around that edge to finish this off you could also dip it all in an embossing powder and emboss the entire edge if you wanted to but this is really quick this way there now um, I bought big strong magnets at um, Michael's just add a little glossy accent over that and adhere my ornament on top and then uh, there are only a few steps left first you'll cover that entire piece with glossy and then it's a little bit um, milky looking right now but once it's dry it will clear dry completely clear well, that takes a while and then when it's dry I'm going to just pretend I did that and when it's dry just add a bow on top if you want to and your uh, holiday magnet is done I hope you have fun with those see you next time